When I was 15, I started this time in my life called high school. We all did, right? Now, my sister and I were invited to go to the beach to help watch a set of twins and their older sister, who was eight. It wasn't that this sister wasn't great, but they needed the both of us to help, because this little girl, well, she couldn't do things quite like her little siblings could. She couldn't talk. She couldn't walk. She couldn't speak. She couldn't even see the sun or a tree or the love of her parents and smaller siblings. She was diseased with a sickness that was rare and required constant care from those who loved her, and I did grow to do so. I loved her laugh and her smile, though her vacant stare made me wonder, made me share my curiosity with my sister. How much of her was there? This little one, Natasha, couldn't tell us what she wanted, couldn't tell us what she needed, couldn't show us what she thought, what went on inside her head while she lied awake in bed. Did she know about the stars, children's books, granola bars? Was there more behind her stare than anyone would dare to uncover? But who would take the time to do so? Who would take the time to care? If only I knew how, if only I could allow all my time to uncover her, discover every thought and more, I knew I could uncage her mind, dig up any treasure I could find, and then, just then, I would be someone, really changing someone's life. My purpose was beginning to be cut open by a knife that showed me who I wanted to be. I can now see myself working with others like Natasha, giving them a chance to live like me, blessed with normality. And since my sweet Natasha has flown above, an angel in heaven, spreading love, I've made a promise to myself. I'll never pass a chance to help with those less fortunate than me. And I will forever give my time to help the others see that there is more under the surface than you may initially believe. So I will advocate my stand with a teaching degree in my hand, a heart of faith in God above, forever giving all my love so that I can help to search and find the intelligence unknown of those who cannot display it alone.